It was the last day of school, and the excitement in the air was palpable. Students hurried through the hallways, exchanging hugs and promises to keep in touch over the summer break. But amidst the festivities, there was an undercurrent of unease, a feeling that something was not quite right. As the final bell rang, signaling the official start of summer vacation, a group of friends decided to stay behind and explore the abandoned wing of the school. The old wing had been closed off for years, rumored to be haunted by the ghost of a former student who had tragically died on the last day of school decades ago. Curiosity outweighed their fear as they ventured into the dimly lit corridor. The air was heavy with dust and the echoes of their footsteps seemed to reverberate through the empty halls. As they reached the end of the corridor, they came across a classroom that had been untouched for years. Dusty desks lined the room, textbooks and papers scattered haphazardly. But what caught their attention was a chalkboard covered in strange symbols and a message written in blood-red letters, the last day is not the end, but the beginning. Anise crept over the group as they tried to make sense of the cryptic message. Suddenly, the classroom door slammed shut behind them, the sound reverberating through the empty halls like a gunshot. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped. The air grew colder, shadows seemed to move on their own, and whispers echoed through the abandoned wing. They were not alone. As they frantically searched for a way out, strange occurrences intensified. Objects flew off shelves, doors creaked open and shut on their own, and a chilling laughter echoed through the halls. In their desperation, they stumbled upon a hidden staircase leading down into darkness. With no other option, they descended, the darkness swallowing them whole. As they reached the bottom, they found themselves in a cavernous chamber, illuminated by flickering torches. Symbols adorned the walls, ancient and foreboding and in the center of the chamber stood a figure cloaked in darkness, its eyes glowing with malice. You have awakened me, the figure hissed, its voice echoing through the chamber. The last day is indeed the beginning of your torment. And with that ominous declaration, the figure raised its hand, unleashing a wave of dark energy that engulfed the group, plunging them into a nightmare from which there seemed to be no escape. As the dark energy enveloped the group, they found themselves in a nightmarish realm that defied logic and reason. The chamber dissolved around them, and they were transported to a twisted version of their school, where corridors led to nowhere, classrooms morphed into mazes, and the walls seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. Separated in the chaos, each member of the group faced their own terrifying trials. Sarah found herself trapped in a never-ending hallway, the walls closing in on her with every step. Mark wandered through shifting classrooms, where the desks and chairs rearranged themselves in sinister patterns. Meanwhile, Alex and Emily stumbled into a room filled with mirrors, each reflection showing a distorted version of themselves, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. And Chris found himself in a library where the books whispered ancient secrets and the shelves moved of their own accord. As they struggled to navigate this nightmarish realm, they realized that the figure they had encountered in the chamber was toying with them, feeding off their fear and despair. It seemed to delight in their torment, appearing and disappearing at will, taunting them with cryptic messages and dark prophecies. The group's bond was tested as they faced their worst fears and deepest regrets. They had to rely on each other's strengths and courage to survive the horrors that lurked in the shadows of their own minds. But as the trials grew more intense and the figures influenced stronger, doubts and suspicions arose among them. Was there a traitor in their midst, someone who had unwittingly invited this nightmare into their lives? Or was the figure manipulating their fears to turn them against each other? As they searched for answers and a way out of the twisted realm, they stumbled upon clues that hinted at a deeper conspiracy, a dark secret buried within the school's history. The ghost of the student who had died on the last day of school was not just a tragic legend but a key to unlocking the truth behind the figure's sinister agenda. With time running out and their sanity hanging by a thread, the group raced against the malevolent forces that sought to consume them. 
They knew that only by confronting the source of the darkness and unraveling the mysteries of the school's past could they hope to escape the nightmare that had become their reality. As the group delved deeper into the nightmarish realm of their school, they encountered more twisted manifestations of their fears and regrets. Sarah, struggling against the closing walls of the hallway, felt her breath grow shallow as the claustrophobia threatened to overwhelm her. Mark, navigating the shifting classrooms, found himself facing memories of past failures and missed opportunities, each room a haunting reminder of what could have been. Alex and Emily, trapped in the room of mirrors, saw distorted reflections of themselves that mocked their insecurities and doubts. The glowing eyes in the mirror seemed to follow their every move, filling them with a sense of dread and paranoia. And Chris, surrounded by the whispering books in the library, felt a growing sense of despair as the ancient secrets hinted at a grim fate. Despite the odds stacked against them, the group refused to succumb to the terror that surrounded them. They clung to each other, drawing strength from their unity and determination to uncover the truth behind the nightmare that had ensnared them. As they searched for clues and a way out, they stumbled upon hidden passages and forgotten rooms within the school, each revealing a piece of the dark history that had been buried for so long. They learned of a secret society that had dabbled in forbidden rituals, seeking power and knowledge beyond mortal understanding. The ghost of the student who had died on the last day of school was revealed to be a victim of this society, a sacrifice in their quest for forbidden knowledge and the figure that had tormented them was revealed to be a manifestation of the society's leader, a sorcerer whose thirst for power had transcended death itself. The group realized that they were pawns in a larger game, caught in the machinations of forces far beyond their comprehension. But they also discovered that they held the key to stopping the sorcerer's reign of terror and freeing themselves from the nightmare. Armed with newfound knowledge and determination, they set out to confront the sorcerer and put an end to the horrors that had plagued their last day of school. But as they ventured deeper into the heart of the nightmarish realm, they knew that the true test of their courage and resilience was yet to come. As the group ventured deeper into the heart of the nightmarish realm, they encountered increasingly sinister obstacles. The school's twisted corridors seemed to shift and rearrange themselves, leading them in circles and confusing their sense of direction. Shadows danced at the edges of their vision, whispering dark secrets and tempting them with false promises. Their progress was slow and fraught with danger, each step forward met with a new challenge. Sarah's claustrophobia worsened as the walls closed in tighter, threatening to crush her. Mark faced illusions of his past failures, the specters of missed opportunities and regrets taunting him at every turn. Alex and Emily struggled against the mirrors that showed distorted versions of themselves, their reflections mocking their insecurities and fears. And Chris, surrounded by the whispering books in the library, felt a growing sense of dread as the ancient secrets hinted at a grim fate. Despite the overwhelming odds, the group pressed on, driven by their determination to confront the sorcerer and end the nightmare that had ensnared them. They knew that their unity and resolve were their greatest weapons against the darkness that sought to consume them. As they neared the heart of the nightmarish realm, the school's surroundings grew increasingly surreal and twisted. Rooms merged into one another, gravity seemed to fluctuate, and time lost all meaning. They were trapped in a labyrinth of nightmares, each step taking them deeper into a realm where reality and nightmare blurred. At last, they reached the central chamber, a vast space bathed in an eerie glow. The sorcerer awaited them, his form shifting and indistinct, a spectre of malevolence and power. His eyes gleamed with a dark hunger as he spoke, his voice echoing through the chamber. Welcome, brave souls, the sorcerer intoned, his voice carrying the weight of centuries. You have come far, but your journey ends here. Surrender to the darkness, and I may spare you a fate worse than death. The group stood firm, their resolve unshaken despite the overwhelming presence of the sorcerer. They knew that they held the key to ending the nightmare, but doing so would require courage and sacrifice. As the final confrontation loomed, the school's surroundings twisted and contorted, a manifestation of the sorcerer's power. 
The group braced themselves for the ultimate battle between light and darkness, knowing that the outcome would determine not only their fate, but the fate of all who had been touched by the sorcerer's malevolent influence. As the group braced themselves for the ultimate confrontation with the sorcerer, the chamber around them seemed to warp and twist with the sorcerer's malevolent power. The walls pulsed with dark energy, and the air grew heavy with anticipation. The sorcerer's form shifted and morphed, his features contorting into grotesque shapes as he prepared to unleash his full wrath upon the intruders who dared to challenge him. His eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and his voice reverberated through the chamber like thunder. You fools, the sorcerer boomed, his voice carrying a mix of contempt and amusement. You think you can defy me? You are nothing but insects, crawling in the shadow of my power. But the group stood firm, their determination fueled by the bonds of friendship and the knowledge that they held the key to ending the nightmare that had plagued their last day of school. They had faced their fears and regrets, navigated through a nightmarish realm, and uncovered the dark secrets hidden within the school's history. Now, they were ready to confront the sorcerer and put an end to his reign of terror. As the sorcerer raised his hand, preparing to unleash a wave of dark energy, the group acted in unison. Sarah summoned her inner strength, pushing back against the crushing walls of the hallway that threatened to consume her. Mark confronted the illusions of his past, facing his regrets head-on and finding the courage to move forward. Alex and Emily joined forces, breaking through the mirrors that showed their distorted reflections and embracing their true selves with newfound confidence. And Chris delved deeper into the ancient secrets of the library, unlocking knowledge and wisdom that would aid them in their battle against the sorcerer. With a collective effort, the group channeled their resolve and unleashed a counterattack against the sorcerer. Light erupted from their combined powers, pushing back against the darkness that surrounded them. The chamber shook with the intensity of the clash, and the very fabric of reality seemed to tremble. The sorcerer roared in rage as his powers were met with unexpected resistance. He unleashed torrents of dark energy, but the group stood firm, their determination unwavering. They fought with everything they had, drawing upon their inner strength and the bonds of friendship that held them together. As the battle raged on, the sorcerer's form began to waver, his powers weakening under the relentless assault of light and hope. The group pressed their advantage, pushing forward with renewed determination as they sought to banish the sorcerer and free themselves from the nightmare once and for all. But just as victory seemed within their grasp, a new threat emerged from the shadows, a presence even more sinister than the sorcerer himself. The true mastermind behind the nightmarish realm revealed itself, setting the stage for a final showdown that would test the group's resolve to its limits. As the group fought bravely against the sorcerer's dark powers, a new presence emerged from the shadows, its malevolent aura suffusing the chamber with an even greater sense of dread. The true mastermind behind the nightmarish realm revealed itself, a being of pure darkness and ancient evil, known only as the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord's form was a shifting mass of darkness and malice, its eyes glowing with an unholy light that pierced through the chaos of the battle. Its voice echoed through the chamber, a chilling whisper that sent shivers down the group's spines. You dare to challenge me, mortals, the Shadow Lord hissed, its voice a cruel mockery of human speech. You are nothing but playthings in my domain, puppets dancing to my tune. The group faltered for a moment, the sheer malevolence of the Shadow Lord's presence threatening to overwhelm them. But they quickly rallied, drawing strength from their unity and determination to defeat the darkness that had ensnared them. With a renewed sense of purpose, Sarah, Mark, Alex, Emily, and Chris unleashed a barrage of light and energy against the Shadow Lord. Their combined powers formed a barrier of light that pushed back against the darkness, creating a temporary respite from the Shadow Lord's relentless assault. But the Shadow Lord was not easily deterred. It retaliated with a wave of dark tendrils that lashed out at the group, seeking to drain them of their strength and will. The chamber echoed with the clash of light and darkness, each side fighting for supremacy. 
As the battle raged on, the group realized that defeating the Shadow Lord would require more than just raw power. They would need to uncover the creature's weakness, a vulnerability that could be exploited to turn the tide in their favor. Drawing upon their knowledge and experiences from their journey through the nightmarish realm, the group searched for clues that could reveal the Shadow Lord's true nature. They delved into the memories and secrets hidden within the school's history, piecing together fragments of information that hinted at the Shadow Lord's origins and weaknesses. Through sheer determination and perseverance, they uncovered a hidden chamber deep within the school, a place of ancient power and forbidden knowledge. Within this chamber lay the key to defeating the Shadow Lord, a relic of light imbued with the essence of hope and courage. Armed with the relic, the group returned to the central chamber to face the Shadow Lord once more. With a united front, they unleashed the power of the relic against the Shadow Lord, creating a blinding burst of light that pierced through the darkness and struck true. The Shadow Lord roared in agony as its form began to disintegrate, the darkness dissipating like smoke in the wind. The chamber trembled as the Shadow Lord's hold on the nightmarish realm weakened, its influence waning with each passing moment. But the victory was not without cost. The group was drained and weary from the battle, their strength depleted from the exertion of facing such ancient and malevolent forces. As the last remnants of the Shadow Lord faded away, they collapsed to the ground, exhausted but victorious. But their respite was short-lived. As they caught their breath and regained their strength, a new revelation dawned upon them, the nightmare was not over yet. The true extent of the Shadow Lord's influence had yet to be revealed, and the group knew that they would have to face even greater challenges in order to fully escape the nightmarish realm and return to their own reality. As the group caught their breath and regained their strength after the intense battle with the Shadow Lord, they realized that their victory was only the beginning of their ordeal. The true extent of the Shadow Lord's influence had yet to be revealed, and they knew that they would have to face even greater challenges to fully escape the nightmarish realm and return to their own reality. Exhausted but determined, Sarah, Mark, Alex, Emily, and Chris gathered their wits and assessed their situation. The chamber around them had shifted once again, the walls pulsing with residual dark energy. They could sense that the Shadow Lord's presence still lingered, its malevolent influence seeping into every corner of the nightmarish realm. We can't let our guard down, Sarah said, her voice firm with resolve. The Shadow Lord may be weakened, but it's not defeated yet. We need to find a way to banish it from this realm once and for all. The group nodded in agreement, their minds racing with ideas and strategies. They knew that they couldn't rely solely on brute force to defeat the Shadow Lord. They needed a plan, a way to exploit the creature's vulnerabilities and strike at its core. As they searched the chamber for clues and answers, they came across ancient tomes and scrolls that hinted at the Shadow Lord's origins. They learned that the creature had been imprisoned within the nightmarish realm centuries ago by a powerful sorcerer who had sacrificed himself to contain its dark power. But the sorcerer's imprisonment was not permanent. Over the years, the Shadow Lord had slowly regained its strength, feeding off the fears and nightmares of those who stumbled into its domain. It had become a twisted reflection of the sorcerer's own ambitions and desires, a being of pure darkness and malice. Armed with this knowledge, the group devised a plan to confront the Shadow Lord once more. They would need to enter the heart of the nightmarish realm, where the creature's power was strongest, and perform a ritual to weaken its hold on the realm. But the ritual would not be easy. It required a combination of ancient incantations, relics of light, and a pure-hearted sacrifice to channel the energies needed to banish the Shadow Lord. It was a risky plan, fraught with danger, but the group knew that it was their only hope of escaping the nightmare. As they prepared for the final confrontation, tensions ran high among the group. Doubts and fears threatened to cloud their judgment, but they pushed through, drawing strength from their shared determination to overcome the darkness that had plagued their last day of school. With the ritual set to begin, the group gathered in the central chamber, each member taking their place as they prepared to face the Shadow Lord one last time. 
The air grew tense with anticipation, the chamber echoing with the ancient incantations and the hum of magical energies. But just as the ritual was about to commence, a new threat emerged. A horde of shadowy creatures, spawned from the depths of the nightmarish realm, surged into the chamber, intent on disrupting the group's efforts and protecting their master, the Shadow Lord. As the horde of shadowy creatures surged into the chamber, the group braced themselves for a desperate battle. The creatures moved with unnatural speed and agility, their forms shifting and morphing as they closed in on the group, intent on disrupting the ritual and protecting their master, the Shadow Lord. Sarah conjured barriers of light to fend off the advancing creatures, her hands moving in intricate patterns as she channeled her magical abilities. Mark unleashed bursts of energy, blasting apart the shadowy forms that dared to approach. Alex and Emily fought side by side, their combined powers creating whirlwinds of light that scattered the creatures. But despite their valiant efforts, the shadowy horde seemed endless, their numbers overwhelming. Chris realized that they needed to focus their efforts on the source of the creatures, the Shadow Lord itself. We have to reach the center of the chamber, Chris shouted over the chaos, his voice barely audible amidst the sounds of battle. That's where the Shadow Lord's influence is strongest. If we can disrupt its hold on the realm, we might stand a chance. The group nodded in agreement, their determination renewed. They fought their way through the horde, pushing forward towards the center of the chamber where the Shadow Lord's dark presence loomed. As they reached the center, they found themselves facing the Shadow Lord once more. Its form had shifted, becoming even more monstrous and twisted, its eyes burning with a furious intensity. It lashed out with tendrils of darkness, striking at the group with relentless ferocity. But the group was prepared. They had learned from their previous battles and had honed their skills and teamwork. They coordinated their attacks, striking at the Shadow Lord from all sides, exploiting its vulnerabilities and weaknesses. As the battle raged on, the group's determination and resilience began to wear down the Shadow Lord's defenses. The creature roared in frustration and pain, its form flickering and wavering as it struggled to maintain its hold on the nightmarish realm. With a final surge of energy, the group unleashed the full power of the ritual they had prepared. Ancient incantations filled the chamber, relics of light glowed with radiant energy, and the pure-hearted sacrifice offered their strength to channel the energies needed to banish the Shadow Lord. A blinding burst of light erupted from the center of the chamber, engulfing the Shadow Lord in a torrent of pure energy. The creature howled in agony as its form began to disintegrate, the darkness dissipating like smoke in the wind. But just as victory seemed within their grasp, a new revelation dawned upon the group, the nightmarish realm was collapsing around them. The energies unleashed by the ritual had destabilized the realm, and they realized that they had to escape before it consumed them all. As the nightmarish realm began to collapse around them, the group knew that they had little time to escape. The chamber trembled and shook, cracks forming in the walls as reality itself seemed to unravel. Desperate to find a way out, they searched frantically for an exit amidst the chaos. Sarah's eyes widened as she spotted a shimmering portal forming in the corner of the chamber. There, she shouted, pointing towards the portal. That's our way out. The group rushed towards the portal, fighting against the collapsing surroundings and the remnants of the shadowy creatures that still lurked in the chamber. The portal pulsed with a faint light, promising safety and escape from the crumbling nightmare. But just as they reached the portal, a sudden surge of dark energy swept through the chamber, knocking them off their feet. The remnants of the Shadow Lord's power fought against their escape, manifesting in a final act of defiance. We can't let it stop us now, Mark grunted, pushing himself to his feet. We've come too far to give up now. With renewed determination, the group rallied together, using their combined strength to push through the barrier of dark energy. The portal flickered and wavered, but they refused to be denied. With a final burst of effort, they leaped through the portal, leaving the collapsing nightmare behind them. As they emerged on the other side, 
They found themselves back in the familiar halls of their school, but something was different. The air was clearer, the shadows less menacing, and a sense of relief washed over them as they realized that they had escaped the nightmarish realm. But their ordeal was far from over. They had yet to fully understand the extent of the Shadow Lord's influence and the consequences of their actions. The school itself seemed changed, as if the events of the night had left an indelible mark on its walls. We need to find out what happened, Emily said, her voice tinged with concern. We can't just pretend like none of this ever happened. The group agreed, their curiosity and determination driving them forward. They began to investigate the school, searching for clues and answers to the mysteries that still lingered. They discovered that the nightmarish realm had not only affected them but also the other students and faculty of the school. Nightmares and strange occurrences plagued the halls, whispers of the Shadow Lord's influence spreading like wildfire. As they delved deeper into the mysteries, they uncovered a trail of clues that led them to a hidden chamber beneath the school, an ancient vault that had been sealed for centuries. Within the vault lay artifacts and relics of great power, remnants of the sorcerer's battles against the darkness. But the artifacts were not inert. They pulsed with a faint energy, hinting at their potential to be used for both good and evil. The group realized that they held the key to either protecting the school from future threats or unleashing a new wave of darkness upon the world. Caught between the temptation of power and the responsibility of safeguarding their reality, the group faced a new dilemma. They knew that their choices would have far-reaching consequences, and they had to decide wisely how to proceed. As they debated their next steps, a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, a survivor of the nightmarish realm who had been touched by the Shadow Lord's influence. The figure warned them of a new threat on the horizon, a darkness that was gathering strength and preparing to strike. With this new revelation, the group knew that their journey was far from over. They had vanquished one evil, but another loomed on the horizon, and they would need all their courage and resourcefulness to face it. The shadowy figure's warning lingered in the air, casting a pall of uncertainty over the group. They knew that they couldn't ignore the threat, but they also couldn't rush into action without a plan. They needed more information, more allies, and more power if they were to stand a chance against the looming darkness. As they pondered their next move, they were approached by a mysterious stranger, an enigmatic figure who claimed to have knowledge of the ancient artifacts hidden beneath the school. The stranger spoke of a forgotten order of guardians who had once protected the artifacts and wielded their power for the good of humanity. The artifacts are the key to defeating the darkness, the stranger explained, their voice carrying a weight of centuries-old wisdom. But their power must be wielded with caution and responsibility. Only those who are worthy can unlock their true potential. The group listened intently, sensing that the stranger held the key to unlocking the mysteries of the artifacts and preparing them for the battle ahead. But they also couldn't shake the feeling of unease, wondering if the stranger could be trusted or if they had their own agenda. Nevertheless, they decided to follow the stranger's guidance, venturing once more into the hidden chamber beneath the school. The artifacts glowed with a faint energy as they approached, responding to the presence of those who sought to harness their power. The stranger led them through a series of trials and tests, each designed to gauge their worthiness and resolve. They faced illusions of their fears and doubts, obstacles that tested their courage and determination. Through teamwork and perseverance, they overcame each challenge, proving themselves to be worthy of wielding the artifacts. As they reached the heart of the chamber, they were presented with a choice, a choice that would shape the course of their destiny and determine the fate of the school and all who dwelled within it. They could choose to use the artifacts to amplify their own powers, granting them the strength to confront the darkness head-on. Or they could choose to seal the artifacts away, safeguarding them from falling into the wrong hands and preventing further misuse of their power. It was a decision that weighed heavily on each member of the group. They knew that wielding the artifacts came with great risk, as the power they offered could corrupt even the noblest of intentions. 
but they also knew that without the artifacts, they would be ill-equipped to face the looming threat. After much deliberation and soul-searching, they made their choice to harness the power of the artifacts, but to do so with caution and restraint. They vowed to use the artifacts only in dire situations, when all other options had been exhausted and the safety of the school and its inhabitants was at stake. Armed with newfound power and purpose, the group set out to confront the darkness that lurked on the horizon. They knew that the road ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty, but they faced it with determination and unity, ready to protect their home and banish the shadows that threatened to consume it. As the group prepared to confront the looming darkness with the newfound power of the artifacts, they were met with unexpected challenges and revelations. The artifacts, though potent, were also unpredictable, and their influence began to manifest in unforeseen ways. Sarah, who had taken on the responsibility of wielding the Artifact of Light, found herself struggling to control its immense power. The Artifact responded to her emotions, amplifying her fears and doubts, threatening to overwhelm her with its radiance. Mark, who had chosen the Artifact of Courage, faced a different challenge. The Artifact demanded acts of bravery and selflessness, pushing him to confront his deepest insecurities and weaknesses. It was a test of character that pushed him to his limits. Alex and Emily, who shared the artifact of unity, discovered that their bond was both a strength and a vulnerability. The artifact enhanced their teamwork and coordination, but it also made them more susceptible to psychic attacks and manipulations from the darkness they sought to vanquish. Chris, who had taken on the artifact of knowledge, delved deep into the mysteries of the artifacts and their origins. But the more he learned, the more he realized that there were darker forces at play, ancient entities that had been awakened by the artifact's activation. As the group grappled with these challenges, they also faced external threats. The darkness that had been gathering strength launched its first assault, sending shadowy minions to test the group's resolve and determination. The battles were fierce and relentless, testing the group's newfound powers and unity. They learned to trust each other's strengths and support each other's weaknesses, forging an unbreakable bond in the crucible of battle. But as the battles raged on, the group began to question their own motivations and the consequences of wielding such potent artifacts. They wondered if they were truly prepared for the responsibility that came with their newfound power, or if they were simply playing into the hands of darker forces. Their doubts and fears threatened to tear them apart, but they knew that they couldn't afford to falter. The fate of the school and all who dwelled within it hung in the balance, and they had to find a way to harness the artifact's power without succumbing to their influence. In the midst of their struggles, they received a cryptic message from the mysterious stranger who had guided them to the artifacts. The message spoke of a hidden sanctuary, a place of ancient knowledge and wisdom where they could find answers to their questions and guidance for the battles ahead. With renewed purpose, the group set out to find the sanctuary, venturing into uncharted territory and facing new dangers along the way. They knew that their journey was far from over, and that the true test of their strength and resolve was yet to come. As the group ventured into the unknown to find the hidden sanctuary, they encountered treacherous obstacles and dark adversaries that tested their skills and determination at every turn. Their path to the sanctuary was fraught with peril, but they pressed on, driven by a sense of duty and the hope of finding answers to their questions. The landscape around them grew increasingly surreal and nightmarish, reflecting the influence of the darkness that threatened to consume their reality. The sky twisted into unnatural shapes, and the ground seemed to shift beneath their feet, creating an ever-changing maze of challenges. Amidst this surreal environment, the artifacts they wielded began to act erratically, their powers fluctuating and manifesting in unpredictable ways. Sarah's artifact of light would sometimes flare up with blinding intensity, illuminating their path, but also attracting unwanted attention from lurking creatures of darkness. Mark's artifact of courage demanded increasingly risky feats of bravery, pushing him to the brink of danger in order to prove his worthiness. Alex and Emily's artifact of unity would occasionally falter, 
causing rifts in their teamwork and leaving them vulnerable to ambushes from shadowy assailants. Chris, with his artifact of knowledge, struggled to decipher the cryptic messages and ancient symbols that marked the way to the sanctuary. The artifact's influence clouded his mind with conflicting visions and cryptic riddles, making it difficult to discern truth from deception. Despite these challenges, the group pressed on, drawing strength from their shared experiences and unwavering determination. They faced trials of strength, wit, and courage, each test bringing them closer to their goal but also pushing them to their limits. As they neared the location of the hidden sanctuary, they encountered a formidable guardian, a creature of immense power and ancient wisdom that stood between them and their destination. The guardian challenged them to prove their worthiness, testing their resolve and determination to overcome the darkness that threatened to engulf their world. The battle with the guardian was the most grueling yet, each member of the group tapping into their deepest reserves of strength and courage to stand against the formidable foe. Sarah's light shone with blinding brilliance, Mark's courage blazed like a beacon of hope, Alex and Emily's unity became an unbreakable shield, and Chris's knowledge unlocked ancient secrets that aided their fight. In the end, it was their unity and determination that won the day. The Guardian acknowledged their strength and allowed them passage to the hidden sanctuary, where they hoped to find the answers they sought and the guidance they needed to face the looming darkness that threatened their world. But as they entered the sanctuary, a new revelation awaited them, one that would shape the very foundations of their beliefs and challenge everything they thought they knew about the artifacts, the darkness, and their own destinies. As the group entered the hidden sanctuary, they were greeted by a sight unlike anything they had ever seen before. The sanctuary was a vast chamber filled with ancient tomes, mystical artifacts, and a lingering aura of power that spoke of centuries-old secrets and wisdom. At the center of the chamber stood an ancient pedestal, upon which rested a glowing orb of pure energy. The orb pulsed with a faint light, beckoning the group closer as if it held the answers to their questions and the key to unlocking their potential. But before they could approach the orb, they were met by a figure cloaked in shadows, a guardian of the sanctuary who had watched over its secrets for generations. The guardian spoke in a voice that echoed with age and wisdom, cautioning the group of the dangers that lurked within the sanctuary. The artifacts you wield are powerful, but they also carry a heavy burden, the Guardian warned. To harness their true potential, you must first understand their origins and the ancient conflict that gave rise to their creation. The group listened intently, realizing that they were on the cusp of uncovering truths that could change their understanding of the world and their place within it. They knew that they had come too far to turn back now, and they were determined to learn all they could. The Guardian guided them through the sanctuary, revealing hidden chambers and forgotten archives that held the history of the artifacts and the ancient conflict between light and darkness. They learned of a time when powerful sorcerers and guardians waged a war against the forces of shadow, using the artifacts as weapons in their struggle for dominance. But the artifacts proved to be too potent, their power threatening to consume those who wielded them. In a desperate bid to prevent catastrophe, the guardians of old sealed the artifacts away, dispersing them across different realms and dimensions to prevent anyone from harnessing their full power. The group realized that they were now part of a legacy that spanned centuries, inheriting the responsibility of wielding the artifacts and protecting their world from the encroaching darkness. But they also understood the risks and dangers that came with such power, as the artifact's influence threatened to corrupt even the noblest of intentions. As they delved deeper into the sanctuary's secrets, they uncovered clues and prophesies that spoke of an ancient prophecy, a prophecy that foretold of a chosen group of heroes who would rise to challenge the darkness and restore balance to the realms. The group realized with a start that they were the ones mentioned in the prophecy, the chosen ones who held the fate of their world in their hands. But with this realization came a heavy burden, as they knew that they would have to face even greater challenges and adversaries in their quest to fulfill the prophecy. Armed with newfound knowledge and determination, the group emerged from the sanctuary ready to face whatever trials awaited them. 
They knew that their journey was far from over and that the true test of their strength and unity was yet to come. With the weight of the prophecy resting on their shoulders, the group emerged from the hidden sanctuary with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. They knew that they were destined to confront the darkness that threatened their world, but they also understood that their journey would be fraught with peril and sacrifice. As they returned to the school, they found that the darkness had already begun to spread, manifesting in strange phenomena and unsettling whispers that echoed through the halls. The artifacts they wielded pulsed with anticipation, as if they sensed the approaching confrontation and yearned to be unleashed. But before they could confront the darkness head-on, they needed to prepare themselves and gather allies. They sought out those who had faced the darkness before, recruiting seasoned warriors, wise sorcerers, and courageous allies who shared their goal of protecting the realms from the encroaching shadow. Among their allies was a group of ancient guardians who had once safeguarded the artifacts and fought against the darkness alongside the sorcerers of old. These guardians possessed knowledge and skills that proved invaluable to the group, training them in combat techniques, magical spells, and ancient rituals that would aid them in their quest. As they trained and prepared, the group delved deeper into the mysteries of the artifacts and the prophecy that foretold their destiny. They learned of a hidden realm, a place of pure magic and untapped potential, where the balance between light and darkness could be restored. But to reach this hidden realm, they would need to undertake a perilous journey through treacherous lands and face formidable adversaries along the way. The path ahead was fraught with danger, but they knew that it was their only hope of stopping the darkness from consuming everything they held dear. With their allies by their side and their resolve steeled, the group set out on their journey, venturing into uncharted territories and facing challenges that tested their courage and unity. They encountered ancient guardians, mythical beasts, and malevolent spirits that sought to thwart their progress at every turn. But the group's determination and resourcefulness saw them through, as they relied on their training, their bond of friendship, and the power of the artifacts to overcome each obstacle. Along the way, they uncovered forgotten ruins, hidden temples, and long-lost artifacts that bolstered their strength and knowledge. As they drew closer to their destination, they could feel the darkness growing stronger, its influence seeping into the very fabric of reality. They knew that the final battle was fast approaching, and that they would need to muster all their strength and courage to emerge victorious. But as they prepared for the ultimate confrontation, a new threat emerged, a dark force that had been manipulating events from the shadows, orchestrating the chaos and sowing discord among their ranks. The group realized with a sinking feeling that their enemy was closer than they had ever imagined, and that their true test was about to begin. In the heart of the hidden sanctuary, the group of heroes stood united, their resolve as unyielding as the artifacts they wielded. They had journeyed through realms of darkness, faced unimaginable horrors, and now stood on the precipice of their final battle against the encroaching shadow. The dark force that had manipulated events from the shadows revealed itself, a being of pure malevolence and ancient hatred. It taunted the group, mocking their efforts and daring them to challenge its power. But the heroes were undeterred. They had faced adversity together, forged bonds of trust and friendship, and honed their skills to perfection. They knew that their strength lay not just in the artifacts they wielded, but in their unity and determination to protect their world from the forces of darkness. The battle that ensued was a clash of titanic proportions, a symphony of magic, steel, and sheer willpower. The heroes unleashed the full might of the artifacts, channeling their combined energies into devastating attacks that shattered the dark forces' defenses. But the dark force was cunning and relentless, striking back with equal ferocity. It summoned legions of shadowy minions, unleashed dark curses and illusions, and tested the heroes' resolve to the breaking point. As the battle raged on, the heroes found themselves pushed to their limits. Sarah's light flickered but never faltered, illuminating the darkness and banishing the shadows that threatened to overwhelm them. Mark's courage remained unwavering, inspiring his comrades to stand strong in the face of adversity. Alex and Emily's unity became a beacon of hope, 
their unbreakable bond shielding them from the Dark Force's manipulations and empowering their attacks with unmatched precision. And Chris's knowledge proved invaluable, unraveling the Dark Force's secrets and weaknesses, and devising strategies that turned the tide of battle in their favor. At the climax of the battle, the heroes unleashed a final, desperate gambit, a ritual that combined the powers of the artifacts with the pure essence of their determination and unity. The sanctuary trembled as the energies surged, creating a blinding vortex of light and darkness that engulfed the battlefield. When the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded, the heroes found themselves standing victorious, the dark force vanquished and the realms saved from certain doom. But victory came at a cost, as they realized that the artifacts had been consumed in the final ritual, their power expended in the struggle against the darkness. As they gathered amidst the ruins of the sanctuary, a sense of bittersweet triumph washed over them. They had saved their world, but they had also lost something irreplaceable. Yet they knew that their journey was not over, for new challenges awaited them, and they would face them together, as true heroes bound by courage, unity, and the indomitable spirit of humanity.